Hi, my name is Shania Bopa. I'm a 25-year-old PhD student, founder of an NGO, author of a children's book, and welcome to our first video. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I love when the croissants warmed up. Thank you. We're starting our day with breakfast, and today it's a butter croissant from Williams. Their croissants are the best, and just like when it's warmed up a little bit, it just like is a big hug, especially in the winter time. Perfect. Perfect. Tip number one. Humans can't efficiently do more than three really big tasks in one day. And so I have structured my entire day around my three big priority tasks and my small tasks that I'll be doing in the evening before our Galentine's Day dinner. So we are starting our day writing our PhD dissertation. I essentially have a sandwich thesis where I have to write three studies. And so we're working on study number three and then we'll head into task number two and number three. Okay, tip number two, this one fundamentally changed my life. Collaboration will always be more powerful than working solo. And let me explain. I am currently editing the grant that needs to be submitted for the Canadian Courage Project, which is the NGO that my sister and I started four years ago now. And we would not be here, we would not have the momentum we've had without a really positive, supportive team that we work with every single day. Collaborating on grants every single week is the norm. Take this tip and integrate it into every aspect of your life. Collaborate and have accountability partners. For example, the do-it-all girl is balancing multiple roles, multiple jobs, but collaborating with peers at each role will make the load lighter. Collaboration is the one thing that I've learned to love because working with others can really inspire and motivate you to achieve the goals that you have set out for yourself. So this is your sign to collaborate with others on a fun project. So let's get to work. This is my big task number two today, writing, editing this grant and hopefully submitting it. So it's quite a big mission. We're gonna do it and let's get started. So we got a cam we we got a bookshelf shot. Well we tried to. Okay, random distracting thought. I would love my home to have a library like this one day, but also I feel like I could read all the books in this room because I grew up in a family we were we were like an encyclopedia family. Like my parents know the randomest facts about the randomest things, but I'm so fascinated by all the topics in this room. Let's move on to task number three, which is working on our pitch for our tech medic product, which is a product I developed for the emergency room. And so now we are working on big task number three, which is prepping and practicing for our pitch competition that's in a few weeks. I built a tool called tech medic, which is for our pediatric emergency rooms. And the pitch is, I have two pitches literally in a couple weeks, but tip number three is define your personal mission statement. I have a different mission statement for every project that I'm working on, but I have my life philosophy of why I'm here on this planet as the overarching theme. Write that life mission down and you will find so much joy, so much purpose in your everyday tasks and in your everyday work. It'll make your experience more enjoyable when you're working on the things that you're doing, but also the way that you have enthusiasm with your collaborators will just shine so bright and make it such a joy for others to work with you as well. So to find that life mission statement, you can pause this video and literally write it down and just brainstorm. I have some templates that I can share with you guys in a few weeks, but this is tip number three that will literally change your life. One question I get super often is how I balance, you know, eating healthy, exercise, and just like the life things. And so I'm going to link in the description box a video I posted on Instagram recently and TikTok about how I use this calculation of 168 hour weeks. Everyone in the world has 168 hours. And so I divide that based on my priorities that week. I literally take that calculation and then put it in my Google calendar. So I really, every week I'm on autopilot as from the moment I wake up, I know what my day looks like. And it's probably one of the easiest things I've ever done to offload brain work. We don't prioritize 
appointments that we have with ourselves. And I think that is where self-respect, self-responsibility really, really stem from. And so if you're struggling with finding that balance, use the templates I've shared on my Instagram and TikTok. I find them really helpful and triage your tasks like an emergency room. Okay, we are hosting a dinner party this evening. It starts at 5 p.m., it's currently four, and we have an hour to set up our entire table, cook all the food, and get everything ready. So let's see how much we can do in just one hour. This is our self-love station. We have each girl coming, they get their own jar to take home, and we are each writing positive affirmations, positive things about one another on these little squares that I cut up last night. You can add some stickers and put them in each girl's bottle. It's all anonymous, which is super exciting. And on days you just need to pick me up. This is a great option to just take it out of the jar and have a read. The best part about today is that all of my kitchenware actually matches the theme. So we have our red pot. This is pink. You just can't see it. It's, it's on the sides. And we have all of our colorful vegetables that we are going to stir fry into a teriyaki dish. I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite things to make. It's super easy. And yeah, we have about 30 minutes till the girls arrive. At how cute all the little bows are on the glasses. They match the candles so perfectly and some of the flowers. I have already put out the salad with the matching dressing, my algae cooking oil in the back there, and slowly bringing out all the dishes. We're about 15 minutes away until our first guest arrives.